He did what he was bred to do. <laughs> he, he chewed up that woman. He did such and such and such. I said, he's an animal. And you guys forgot that he was about that life. So I repeat, Stan Niles had pit bulls. I've had them all my life. And what I would tell you is that if you're unclear about what dog to get, do not get Guys, Tifa here with Fitbully TV. I don't know why people keep asking me about behavior. I didn't told y'all I'm not a behavioralist. And if I'm being candid, honest, and uncanny, a dog trainer, all they is is a person who helps you talk to your dog because you ain't never had a conversation with a dog. Some of y'all can't even talk to the people sitting next to you. So you say, hey, what's my dog thinking? I don't fucking know. But I can tell you what you shouldn't do and what you should do. Now, we have Boots and Iron Sharp K9 stand out here today. And what I love about Boots is, go ahead and drop that, man. Boots will pick it up. He could tell him to leave it, etc. cetera. Et cetera. Out. And look, you see that dog? He's looking for direction. Hey, what do I do? Let me tell you this. Ego's never gonna look at me and say, what do I do? <laughs> he like this. I know what to do. <laughs> and he gonna be on that pillow destroying it for 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, that's an Australian Shepherd, right? Yeah, but this goes back to what the dogs were originally bred for. They had to listen to herders being told push them this way. You ain't listen to somebody in a fight. Exactly. And what the bully and the pits were bred for originally was not to listen to hey, somebody look, else. They used to breed gangbangers back in the day. Think about a, a bully and pit bull and them jokers is throwing up gang signs. Let that gang member out, bro. <laughs> gang, gang. <laughs> and guys, look, I don't support or affiliate myself with any of those colors. <laughs> but here we are. Now, what I love about this, and again, let's just take a walk. And hey, bring Boots with you. Come on, Boots. There you go. You see right here? He's running around, he's thinking. He's left the toy alone. Now when Stan picked it up, boom, boom, boom. Ego is not gonna leave that toy alone. So different times I have to update you guys with behavioral solutions. And let's paint another picture. Stan can attest, cause you got pit bulls. <laughs> you had a game dog. I had a game dog, I had and, one. And, 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 and what was his motivation? Game, <laughs> anything that moved. He liked the cats, he liked the rabbits. <laughs> he, he fancied another dog if he could. Um, but he didn't really care about what I wanted him to care about. And I had him for about th almost three years and he just didn't care the same way that this dog does in, in what, how, 16, 17 months. Yeah. It's a completely different dog. And even at four months old, I would trust him. I trust him more than I trust Rocco at four months old just because <laughs> he was looking for direction versus Rocco and the bully style dogs looking for something else to do. Now, Stan. Can we can we get your Candid? honest opinion? Of course. Would you ever recommend somebody get a game dog or a pit bull if they are if 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 they were like un like didn't know what they would do? Like whatever you do, <laughs> being that you come from, look, I gotta have a pit. I want one of them gang bangers. And now as your life has changed, uh, uh, family, fun, and peace become the priority. You say. I need some peace. <laughs> I mean, I personally will never probably own another blockhead dog. Because <laughs> I got Hero. He's probably going to live for about 15, 16 Man years. Man, say. But Hero is the best of you know, some both, both worlds. worlds that we can get. <laughs> um, but no, I would not suggest a pit game dog being somebody's first dog, especially if they don't have any experience. Because you're going to have to have a come to Jesus meeting with that dog. And <laughs> we can have a come to Jesus meeting with an Aussie maybe three times. Juice was... 30? <laughs> like, and he did. And didn't when he said come to Jesus, look, we ain't talking about Donkey Kong Kid, but look, Juice came up the leash on Stan. Um, and at some point, a dog who has his own mind, it's got his own ideology, it's got his own belief system, it's been bred to survive and advance. Psst, the dog no longer says, hey, Stan, can we go hang out today? He's like, who here want to get effed up? Mm -hmm. That's including. Yeah. And, and two seconds after that, he was fine wanting to get petted, but I'm like, nah, bro, I can't trust you. And there's some times that me and Rocco had, you know, some, some scuffles, <laughs> and he never even thought about coming up leash. And I don't know exactly why that is. I think I might have had a better relationship with Rocco, but I couldn't even imagine Boot coming up leash for anything. Like, yeah. there's nothing that I can do to him. Even if we're doing bite work, I can grab his tail, do anything. He's not never going to turn around and yeah. look at me like I'm a threat. And people, what you fail to realize is, I tell people this, a dog Ow. is an animal. We think dog and we see human and when we say, oh, that's a human, it is an animal. And the one time the animal thing comes to, fr you say, you see what that dog did? You mean that animal? <laughs> he, he did what he was bred to do. <laughs> he, he chewed up that woman. He did such and such and such. I said, 
He's an animal. And you guys forgot that he was about that life. So I repeat, Stan Niles had pit bulls. I've had them all my life. And what I will tell you is that if you're unclear about what dog to get, do not get a pit bull or a bully <laughs> if you are unfamiliar with the requirements, aka requirements, in terms of what it means to take care of the dog. Or even just have a good place for them. A pit juice, I could not have put him in a backyard and he would have been secure. He would have found a way out. He would have either chewed the fence. He would have jumped over. He would have went under. And people, they don't want to put these dogs on the chain spot. That's actually the safest way for them. <laughs> and people, oh, you have the dog on a chain. And even if you think about the, the meters, they actually have more in a circle than they do in a square or a rectangle in those 10 by 10 pins. And if you have a cheap pin that you buy at Walmart or Tractor Supply, those dogs will literally pull the panels off and they'll be out looking for something else to do. And you're not gonna get that dog off. So I had, a, I had Juice and my dad would come over when we went out of town and he was watching the dog. And for whatever reason, Juice got off the leash and thankfully, thankfully I had that fucking wall climb in there. Yeah. Cause he went and he ran right to that wall. And my dad said that dog was on that pillow and he let all the other dogs out, fed all the dogs, put all the dogs back up and Juice was still on that wall. So if that would have been Rocco or Jax or another animal or whatever, they probably would not have made it. No, they'd all have been dead. And, and, and Juice would have been in, a, in a, having a grand old time. And does that also go, what about, I mean, thoughts on rescues as well, too? Oh, no. I'm, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> rescue and people be like this, hey, man, you're doing such a great thing. It'd be a great thing if you rescue my dog. For one, ain't no Negroes going in my house, you understand? None of you Negroes is allowed. So it's like letting Debo in. You know, you you heard Damon got out today or whatever. What was that Nick Terry Crews name on Friday? It was Damon. Oh, it was. Damon. 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 Yeah, you know. You know, look. No, hey. no, no, and no. I mean, remember we had Storm, remember? No, no, and no. When I say no, I mean no wholeheartedly, people. I need to know. I mean, I need to be able to vouch for the dogs, and I have some dogs that are motivated as well. And it's, I got to be honest, it's, it's stressing me out because I ain't there no more. When you're young and you like, man, I want to, now I'm like this. You see this long drink? I got a lot of stuff to do tonight. <laughs> and in this case, I just need more peace. And peace, unfortunately, does not come with the bully pit bull type breeds. This dog just wants his owner's attention. That's all he's doing. Look at it. He wants the word. Like, we about to do something? Look. See what I'm saying? Handler friendly, motivated by his owner, needs direction. Guys, listen, take care of your dog, stay tuned. We're gonna show you the difference between a, a, a follower and you can't even call a pit bull a leader because they will lead you into darkness if you let that joke off the leash. Stay tuned, people. You can see the difference from Ego versus Lil Booter. So we're gonna throw that over there. And what is Ego paying attention to now? And what's gonna happen if Trev lets him go? No, 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 no. <laughs> you gotta pace yourself, people. As you see, watch this. Ego, come here. Get him to tuck. Tuck, man. <laughs> Get him to down. He definitely, <laughs> he definitely ain't gonna down. He, he gonna sit. <laughs> Ego, pull. Good boy. There you go. Good Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> so, corrective work. Sit. <laughs> ain't happening. Too. That collar ain't gonna do it. So, also a reflection of the lack of my effort in work. But, as you see, this dog knows what he wants to do. And watch this. Boom. He ain't gonna go get in the shade. Smart enough to get in the shade. Get this camera in the shade too while we talk a little bit. So, you have a bully breed, you have a highly motivated dog. Hopefully this food don't get in no poison ivy. Believe, me, believe it or not, that stuff's transferable to humans when it comes off of the dog. I ain't got time for that. I'm walking through all these woods. When you see him back there tearing stuff up, that's what a terrier would do, people. He no longer comes back, checks in. What did Boots do? We watched Boots pick the pickle up and he brought it right back to his handler because he's looking for guidance, instruction. What do you want me to do next? He goes like this. See him back there? I know what I'm doing. He's literally having a time of his life. No motivation whatsoever. You don't need to motivate him. Cause that's what he was designed to do. And that's the difference. Ego, come here. Look at this. He's in a different world right now, people. You get a pit bull bully type breed, man. They are highly motivated because they have their own idea of how life should be. 
So what is he doing? He going further and further back. So I'm not going back there. <laughs> yeah, you can't take it. You can't even do that at this point. And he just wandering around trying to take it deeper and deeper into the woods. So we had to come back there and get us some poison ivy on us. And I don't got time to be identifying every uh, leaf back there. <laughs> well, that's why you got these boots. You got, they call them shit kickers. There you go. So put in perspective, you've got a bully. You've got a pit bull type dog. They don't care normally about what you want them to do. If they have prey drive and they're motivated, they're gonna stay and be motivated in general. I would encourage you to continue to find ways to keep the dog stimulated, which is a whole nother conversation because you will, <laughs> you will run into- Bro, man from the fifth floor. <laughs> oh, man. Hey. That's so unplayed, bro. You can't even plan this. <laughs> Look, man, we. Shit. Stay. Stay. No. He don't listen, people. And that does, that's, again, that's a reflection of lack of my effort and work. But at the same time, this is a dog who, he's got more terrier base in him. He wants to do what he wants to do. Stan's going to work him up a little bit. And I tell you, man, the more you make him work, the harder he bites. He's got that whole pillow in his mouth. People want a dog like this, but I repeat, you don't want a dog like this. I'm telling you, I don't want a dog like this. About four or five years ago, I thought I needed to be in this space, and I needed this. I don't have the energy for it anymore. And I actually love coming out and messing with the dogs. I just want a dog that listens. <laughs> I, when I read about the GSP, they say this is a dog that will sit at your feet five, six, seven hours and just be want to be with you. And then it'll go out and hunt too. This dog. He's on a whole different mission, man. So stay tuned, keep taking care of your dogs. We remember, if you're uninformed, uneducated on the bully and pit bull type breeds, do not get one. They are a huge responsibility, which is also why they end up in shelters. And literally people messaging me almost daily now, which is scary, saying, hey, can you take my dog? I sure can't, bro. I sure can't. I don't know why you think I got the time and energy for it. It's too much damn work. Take care of your dogs. Guys, so we're gonna try this again. Marcus is doing a ride by. He could eat this one up. Work. Hey, I got a word for you, people. Hey, you didn't make it work. Dad's gonna get him home. My bad. You didn't make it work. Look, stand tight. Hey, like this. Get that dog get active, boy. Hey, let me, let me, let me. Hey. I can pull out. Grab him first. We ain't gonna, we ain't got no. <laughs> He's like, he tight because Jamarcus ain't making work. Look at this fool. What are you bleeding from, dude? He done ran up in the woods acting crazy. I'm gonna oh, grab him. Come on, pump them legs, boy. Uh huh. That thing got one speed. One, one speed, speed, one speed only. Make it work, Stan. I'm holding. <laughs> Stay at Goosen. <laughs> Make you work, Stan. Make you work, Stan. <laughs> hey, y'all. Look, that wasn't the intent of the video, as I said, but here we are. Hey, boy, Stan took him down there, bro. Hey, you gotta make him work. Sheesh. Sheesh. That's crazy. Yeah, he done for. He done for, bro. <laughs> he done for. You can't even see him in the frame, bro. Nigga, I know. This is crazy. 